My name is Riley, I'm 25 years old, I live outside of Buffalo, New York, and I'm addicted to being an adult baby. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, fucking hate these fuckers. I don't understand people. I dress as a baby as often as I can. Whenever I come home, I always slip into one of my cute little outfits, and it helps me wash away all the stress of the big, tough world. You doing that doesn't make it any different out there in the world. You're trying to escape it. And you can't. You're not a baby. Riley has turned her bedroom into a nursery. She sleeps in her crib every night. I love pajamas, especially footy pajamas. Things with ruffles and pink. I love having my hair in pigtails and sucking on my pacifier. Sucking your pacifier. What the fuck? It's so weird. I started wearing diapers when I was about 13, and then that kind of gradually turned into fascination about pacifiers and onesies and baby well, we used diaper to wearing them at 14. When I was younger, I felt shame. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to have a normal life doing this. Riley's friend James is one of the few people who knows of her strange behavior. I first found out about Riley's addiction maybe about three or so years after we became friends. You know, I was a little surprised. You don't run into too many adults that like to dress like babies. I know it's something Thank that God. is very unique to me, and I definitely don't tell people unless I think they're going to be okay with this. It's my little secret. Riley is also transgender. She was born a male, but always felt awkward and out of place. Five years ago, Riley began living as a female. I believe that gender is something that you can choose. I very much believe that I'm a girl. It just feels so comfortable and it's just so right for me. Wow, a bottle and a footy sleeper? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't you think that's a bit much for just hanging out with the two of us? I kind of like it. It makes me kind of feel younger and like a kid and stuff. Cool. So, <clears throat> this person was born a girl. Sorry. <laughs> this person was born a guy. Changed to a girl. And now it's a baby. Riley is so engrossed in her addiction, she spends nearly $400 a month on accessories like diapers, baby powder, and bottles. She wears diapers 24 hours a day. Well, these are definitely my favorite type of diapers, the briefs. They're the crinkliest, they're the most absorbent, and they have the tapes on them, so you actually have to go through the whole process of diapering. Wetting my diapers is just something that kind of comes naturally with wearing diapers. The feeling of release and the feeling of comfort of a, of a warm, wet diaper is, is really something that is very special to me. What? Go to the toilet in your pants? That's comforting? Are you f- what the f- Being an adult baby makes me feel different ways. Sometimes it makes me feel really happy, sometimes it makes me feel kind of sad. Riley hasn't been able to find a long-term relationship. I know that ultimately most people aren't okay with this. Is oh, she too shit. entrenched in the baby lifestyle? Will her addiction stop her from living a full life? I do worry about Riley's addiction. Her life would probably be a lot easier if she didn't do this, but I don't know if she really would ever want to stop. Sometimes I wish that I wouldn't have gone down this path, but usually it takes just a half a second to go, oh, come on, Riley, you love this. I do wet my diapers, but I don't do anything else in them. I never have to use public restrooms, which is, you know, something that is very lovely because public restrooms are horrible. Few people know of Riley's addiction. It's hard to tell somebody because there's always been that fear that they will completely be super negative to me and judgmental. Candace has been one of Riley's closest friends for over seven years. 
but because Candace lives in another town, she has no idea Riley is living most of her life as a baby. Today Are all her friends have the fucking bull piercing where... Because that's how she chooses them. Today, Riley is finally ready to confide in Candace and reveal her addiction. Um, you know, I'm transgendered. You know, I've been living as a girl for ever. You know all about that, but I have something to talk to you about. Um, okay. I'm just going to give it a minute and I'll come out and talk to you about that, all right? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I, I don't have any idea what's going on, but I hope everything's okay. <sighs> Fuck, I hate the human race. I fucking hate the human race. Candace? Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, what I wanted to tell you was that I am addicted to being a baby and wearing diapers. This is my uh, wonderful little room. It's my nursery. I don't know what I was expecting to see. Um, it was definitely a surprise. This, uh, this crib is really awesome. I kind of built it from scratch out of an old, you know, antique bed. And forgive me for being a little... <laughs> well, I didn't do this because I, you know, wanted to shock you or anything. You know, we've been friends for a long time. Well, I'm glad you told me. Oh my god, I was nervous. This is quite a lot to take in, but at least you didn't scream and run out of the apartment. I never got a chance to be a little girl, you know? I mean, I grew up as a little boy, and, and so it's nice to be able to create new memories. Am I sounding like completely crazy right now? Well, I mean, obviously, it was a shock walking in, but I'm really glad you told me. I don't think it changes how I feel about her. It's her life. I really just want Riley to be happy and healthy. I don't feel like what I'm doing is wrong or dirty or weird. There's no reason for me to stop, so why should I? Weird, for sure. Don't say it's not weird, because it fucking is. How are you? Wow. So this is my nursery. I would like to kind of get some background information, because the only way we can really understand ourselves is to have a context. I got bullied a lot. When I was in eighth grade, I was thrown down stairs by just a bully, and I broke both of my wrists at, at that point, and it was very traumatic. How did that affect you? How did you feel about yourself? I just, just felt kind of like, you know, a little worthless. I don't necessarily feel I do this because I had all these negative things in my life. I, I challenge you a little bit on feeling like this aspect isn't very strongly related to your experience. It's not possible for someone to make her change. It's her coping skill. So trying to tell her that she just has to stop, she'll just drive it underground. I see no reason to change. I love the way I live my life, and I'm going to continue being an adult baby. You do that. <laughs> 